All right, you are reminded of your oath that you are still on oath. Thank you. Um, Mr. Kohli, since you testified in, before this commission, we have had various um, officers from the office who were at the office of the president and who had um, been paid from the, particularly from the um, special, the special security vision 2016 account, number 11030002074. Mm -hmm. I would like to show you some of the withdrawals and ask, just ask you a few questions in relation to what they have said. Okay. Um, maybe you have even listened to some of them. I'd like to show you, just so that you can have a, a point of reference when you answer these questions. Um, withdrawals by Bori LBS Kuli, by Lieutenant Colonel Mood Lamin Mendi, Nuha Williams. Second Lieutenant Nuha Williams, MS Jami, and Sergeant Suleiman Jami, all from CB20, Mr. Chairman. The voucher in respect of each transaction is the document folded on the first page, if you want to look at the voucher. Uh, Mr. Kuli, the one thing, all these transactions, and many, many more like them, these are just examples or samples, is that um, one thing they have in common is that they are all headed requests for payment. They are all memos, not on letterhead, but... Um, purportedly from Office of the President addressed to yourself, the Governor of the Central Bank. And all of them said that they were directed by His Excellency, the President of the, um, of the Gambia in, in different variations. Now, all of them, without exception, said that these documents were given to them yeah. when they arrived at the Central, Central Bank, Bank to collect money. That's correct. And you're confirming that is correct. That's correct. Um, do you have an explanation as to why um, these people who said they were authorized <laughs> came to the bank with nothing in their hands, mm -hmm. no authority mm -hmm. from the person who was the signatory to the account? Yeah. And um, you gave them this document to, to sign when, right. you, when they were paid monies. Yeah. Do you have any explanation for the <coughs> Commission? Uh, yes, uh, Commissioner Pensioner, you may recall uh, the last time I was here in my testimony, I had indicated that <coughs> for so many years since the coming into force of the JAME administration, and with the receipt of funds from Taiwan, I had, as a, a staff of Central Bank of the Gambia and working for the accounts department, seen instances where the aides, at the time it was Baba Job, would appear without any paper. And my predecessors, my predecessors, two of them are not alive anymore, would commit those officers by getting the secretary to type a statement on behalf of those who are coming to commit. And I, in my testimony the last time, I said it is the same practice that I continued with because I could not influence President Jame to make sure that he writes, except in one or two instances. Since he stopped doing that, we do not have a choice but to commit these officers for them to make a statement that they were directed 
by President Jammeh of the Office of the President to make this withdrawal. And linked to that too would be the calls that I would often receive from General Baji. So uh, this is uh, all I can uh, explain in the absence of a written document authority from President, former President Yajame. This is what the bank adopted as a way of committing you know, these officers who would appear at the bank. Now, you claim there was a precedent you were following. Yeah. And I do recollect asking you whether you have anything to show us with regard to the practice yeah. before you became governor. Do you yeah. have anything to show us with regard to this as an existing pra practice before you became governor? Uh, Honorable Commissioner, I say I do not have uh, anything uh, you know, with me. I remember you asked me uh, this. I really don't have any document with me. And I also made a statement that I'm no longer serving at the bank. You said you can make arrangements. I said uh, probably uh, that is for the new administration you know, to do so, but I do not have any document, to be honest. Bro. Do you have any specific transaction you would like to refer us to? And no. the, the, the predecessor you are talking about? No, I'm sorry, I cannot uh, provide you any specific transaction. No. So this Bro. is just an allegation you are making? Well, it's a statement that I'm making, having you know seen that, uh, a that statement, practice. Mr. Mr. Kuli, a statement that cannot be substantiated is just an allegation. Well, okay. And if you want this commission to take it seriously, you would have to provide the evidence or the information or direct us to where the evidence or information can be obtained. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I don't have uh, any documentation. Any can you direct us to process? where this so information that you, this allegation that you're making can be found? Yeah, I'm saying I do expect that the Central Bank of, of the Gambia you know, in, the, in the records archives should have uh, you know, these documents. You, did, you do expect that Central yeah. Bank would do what? Yeah, that, that's my expectation. Yeah. Sorry? I said that's my expectation. That's what I expect. I didn't hear what you expect. Sorry. I say I do expect that uh, Central Bank, like any other documents you know, involved in finance and taxations, would be part of the archives. Yeah, they can find it if you tell them where you were the governor of the bank. No, I was not. I was, well, I was the governor, but at the time I, I was a middle level officer. Hmm. But you're purporting to make a statement which you hopefully is founded in fact. So if it is, we would like you to direct us, but it's up to you, of course. Oh, yeah. Now, Mr. Mr. Gover Mr. Cooley, um, former governor, um, the other thing that was said, mm -hmm. uh, let me just ask, was this a template that you had in your office then? A template that you filled in every time somebody came to get money? Yeah, they, they, we had this, um, you know, um, uh, each time, you know, they appear and they have not appeared with a letter, you know, you then because their names change, yes. So specifically, this is a question of drawing up uh, you know, such a letter virtually in the same language. So yeah, it's a kind of uh, you know, template. You know. Was of course, with changes, uh, changes relating to the amount, the date, and the officer who is coming to collect. Now, Mr. Uh, Noha Williams specifically said that on some occasions it was you. He didn't know anything about the transaction, in fact. And it was you who would call him to say that the money was ready and he would pick it up. But do, you ha do you have anything to say about Let this? Let me say that that is not true, that is not correct. Let me give you the circumstances. Wait. It is General Baji who calls me or would send SMS messages. Now, when we go out to acquire, if it is foreign currency, to acquire from the market, from the banks, the foreign currency, and it's assembled, I would often call General Barry, alert him that, look, uh, my guys, my staff, send up, are ready. They've collected. But of course, there would be several, you know, messages, inquiry. Are you ready that uh, the president is in a hurry? He's asking for this. And then General Baji would tell me that so, so so is coming to collect. This is how we get names of the uh, Lieutenant Nuha Williams and the Tambas and the orders. So where there is a delay, Sometimes I get calls from Tamba, I get calls from others that General Baji has requested me to act on his behalf. I would only call, I would only call if there is a delay in his experience, oh sorry, his appearance, or any one of them. 
any one of them. Those are the circumstances which I will call to say that, look, our staff are ready. Sometimes we will sit in the office to wait for this money to be collected. And it was my duty to make sure that I put pressure on them for them to come and collect so that my staff would close and go away. Those are so, the circumstances when you would call Suleiman. Um, is it uh, Noha Williams? Noha, yeah. I, General would tell me that so -so is collecting. Sometimes there would be a change in the person who is collecting. You know? I would never, never call. I had never called anybody to come and collect other than under those circumstances. Now, why do you have in your template, I have been directed by His Excellency, when by your own statement you had not spoken to His Excellency? You had only had instructions from General Baji. Basically, what we are doing is to facilitate, to put on record the statement that they have told us that they have been directed by the President. That's, they, that's what we have mm, done. In fact, all of them said they had no such directives. They only had directives from General Baji. Well, I, I, without I, exception, Mr. Kuli, all of them, without exception, said they were sent by General Baji. They never spoken to the president, and they didn't even know whether the president had directed General Baji. Uh, can, you, can you give me a minute, please? If you look at, I don't know, this one, one of the statements that I have here, you see, is a signature of recipient on behalf of General Baji for the office of the president. So basically, what we are trying to reflect on this is that they have been, it's a directive from the president, that's the information I would have received from General Baji, but the fact that General Baji himself did not appear, he's sending somebody, makes again try to reflect that fact too. So General Baji would have told you that the president had directed him? Yeah, that's, is that that's, what you're saying? That's what the, I reported the last on time. The on, on the phone? On the phone. And sometimes even as, as late as one o'clock or midnight, I, I will get calls. Um, Suleiman Jame, who was here today, you have one of his, um, you have the withdrawal relating to him, is the one dated 22nd April 2016. Yes. He specifically said that um, he came on a Friday and you told him this was not a, uh, a working day. Um, I, yes, I believe that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything like this? I probably Why? Can't, I you, you would remember. pay even if it wasn't a working day. You would still arrange and pay. Yeah. Is that I, what? Yeah. I cannot remember, but I can confirm that there are instances, even on a Saturday, when the whole team, I and mean, when I say the whole team, banking department would assemble a central bank of the Gambia, work with some commercial banks or foreign exchange bureaus to acquire has foreign currency, if it is foreign currency. Yes. Um, Mr. Kuli, I would also like you to confirm, you remember the state aircraft um, account? Account, yes. Now, the state air account, um, aircraft account had two signatories, um, Mr. the ex-president and Mr. Mamburinjai. Yes. The, all the payments all the withdrawals, however, were made without his signature. Yeah. Do you have any explanation for this? Honorable Commissioner, and for me and my colleagues, the same explanation that I gave as far as former President Yaya Jamis' uh, directives and uh, you know, manner in which he deals with um, you know, issues, especially issues of that uh, sort. You know, where he would hardly write, uh, put anything in Mr. writing. Mr. Mr. Kohli, what I'm saying and is this, that this account was opened through the Ministry of Finance. Finance, that's correct. Mm. And the two signatories to the account were the ex-president yes. and Mr. Mamburinjai, the Minister of Finance. That's correct. He said in his testimony mm. that he was not aware, you did not tell him when the money came into the account from the Kingdom of Qatar, and he was not even aware, and, and certainly the, the latter one, when the monies were being withdrawn. And certainly for this latter statement, hmm. the withdrawals indicate that um, he was not, he did not sign on to the withdrawal transactions. Mm -hmm. So do you have any explanation to give this commission? Do you agree with what he said? And do you have any explanation? 
Uh, first of all, on, let me start with the awareness, lack of uh, you know, what we do. Let's let's start yeah. let's start from the awareness of the money yeah. coming into the account. Yeah, the awareness, money, money is coming into the account. Did you inform? We haven't found any document, but did you at any time inf inform? Or write to the Ministry of Finance to tell them that um, the Qatar, the Kingdom of Qatar, or sent a credit note um, to say that the Kingdom of Qatar has paid four million dollars yeah. uh, yeah. approximately into this account. I, I want to confirm to this commission that every credit transaction, especially transactions uh, involving uh, inflow of money from outside, are uh, advised. Uh, the account holders are advised with what is called a credit advice that would be sent out you know, to every other credit card. I do not have any copy uh, with me, but banking department or finance department would have advised you know, Office of the President, Ministry of Finance or whoever the account holder is that look, funds have, have hit the account. Apart from the fact that statements are sent out, the last time I reported, statements would be sent out to Office of the President uh, balances would be sent out to accountant general, you know, on a monthly basis, to the Minister of Finance on a monthly basis. Yeah. On every other government deposit account. On every? Every other government deposit account. And where would these be found? Copies of what you sent out, where would it be found? Uh, the bank does not keep copies of credit advices because it's sent to the account holder. This is just to inform that, look, uh, we have received funds of so much what, from What so -so. do you keep? What do you keep? Sorry? What do you keep? You, you don't cre keep credit advices. Copies of what do you keep to show that uh, um, communication has been made to the signatory to the account? Uh, no, we don't, we don't really keep uh, anything of that sort because we know that at the end of the month, statement would be sent out. And account holders would have gotten information through this credit advice. It's like communication. This is some standard slip which we send out. You know. All right. Let's talk about the withdrawals. Why did you allow withdrawals to be made when the Minister of Finance, who was a signatory, did not sign? And again, I want to go back, uh, Honorable Commissioner, to the reason that I gave the last time, similar to you know, withdrawals from this on 2016 or the gateway account where the president who ought to know, just like uh, I should know that uh, that is not, uh, you know, uh, proper, you know, using his, his power to make sure that uh, those things, uh, you know, happen. So we are the central bank of the Gambia, of course, do not have a choice dealing with, uh, you know, former president Jamil. So we, we honor the request that comes from him. That, that's your explanation? That's, that's uh, my explanation. Mr. Mr. Kuli, um, if the, the ex-president thought it necessary <laughs> to have the, the Minister of Finance as a co-signatory to an account, yes. don't you think you, or did you not think you as governor, <laughs> should also in, ensure that the Minister of Finance signed on to documents to withdraw funds into, from the account? Honorable Commissioner, you are right, and that's what should be. And again, I want to go back to my statement. That, look, it was awfully difficult dealing with uh, President Jamil. Uh, you know, we, we were helpless. You know. well, what I find difficult to appreciate, you told us that you had not been able to meet him for three years. That's correct. So how can it be difficult to deal with a person you, you don't meet, you don't see, you don't talk to? No. I say, what, what, let me make this statement, and unfortunately, I cannot substantiate it with uh, some written whatever. But I hope some Secretary Generals uh, would be able to confirm that. We, I had personally made requests many times on many other you know, issues, even through Chief of Protocols, to see President Jame on so many matters. It doesn't just happen. It, it doesn't happen. And I can tell you that sometimes the feedback that I get is like, uh, I do get insults. I can confirm that. I you, do. You did get what? I do get insults. Insults? Yes. From? Well, it's communicated through uh, 
some staff of office of the president. The least I would get that look, uh, he said he doesn't want to see you. Yes, madam. It's not been a pleasant moment at all. Um, Mr. Chairman, I don't have any further questions. For Mr. The, Mr. Kuli, from what I hear, mm -hmm. there was a departure mm -hmm. from procedures, yeah. from official ways of doing things to personal mm -hmm. ways of doing things. That's correct. Those insults you heard, they were personal. They had nothing to do with your role as governor. That's as right. governor, yeah. you are armed with what we call autonomy. The governor of the central bank mm -hmm. is supposed to exercise autonomy, mm -hmm. and he does not need anybody's permission yeah. to exercise his autonomy. Yeah. Two things. Mm -hmm. Ex-President Jame was an elected president. Yes. He was not a sovereign monarch. Mm -hmm. You are aware that those funds that were being withdrawn were not for public use. Mm -hmm. They were for official, they were not for personal use, sorry. They were meant for official use. And therefore, because they were official, they were supposed to be accompanied by full documentation with the right authorization. Second, General Baji. He was not responsible for President Jame's financial welfare. His role was to defend and secure the country, including the safety of the president. He was not a signatory to any account. He had no business SMSing you on financial issues. Even as a top military aide to the president, his request should be accompanied by fully authorized requests, signatures. Therefore, your acting on General Baji's request was your decision to depart from official procedures, whether it was out of fear but you had protection. You could have flagged it as an operational breach to say you would require the right documentation. Yeah. There are laid down procedure. The consideration that it was not normal is simply not good enough when it comes to operational breaches regarding public funds. The former president did not own the funds to the point that you couldn't question. You were aware those were state funds. As the governor, you do have knowledge or you do have the right to ask where these funds are going and what they are meant for. And you had no doubt they were not personal funds. So my question is, why give merit to the request of a top military aid who had no financial responsibility? The Commission would like to know why it was so important for you to prepare internally written notes to cover the withdrawals mm -hmm. and get the people who came empty-handed to sign huge sums of money yeah. that nobody could account for. Mm -hmm. The merit, what was the merit about General Baji making you sign off on those forms? We want to know that. Uh, thank you, Commissioner, Honorable uh, Commissioner. First of all, with autonomy, yes, but I can tell you that um, I may not agree with anybody that Central Bank of the Gambia is uh, truly autonomous to the extent that uh, under the regime which we were serving, you, know, you can say no to those things. If we were indeed and are able to exercise I don't think we would have been sitting here. That's number one. Number, number two, let me also make this clarification that what we were receiving from General Baji, I mean Central Bank of the Gambia, is a request 
which he claims came from President Jamia. How did you validate? I think I answered this the last time. In a situation where it is awfully difficult to meet President Jamia or even discuss those issues, I said initially with Vision 2016, Jamia was signing instructions himself. We got to a point where the Chief of Protocol, Sana Jaju, would prepare based on the information I get from him and try to get the President to sign. The last time he came, or the next time he came, no, no paper at all because the president refused to. Here you then have an executive who you we all expect. We all expect that it should not be because he should not have done that. And as much as he is the president, he should not have. If he had done what is uh, right, we would not be sitting here on this issue. Yes, these are public funds, but as far as General Baji is concerned, I'm seeing, and that's the way my colleagues also saw General Baji, that he is an aid messenger of uh, President Jame. I, I think it's common knowledge that virtually, in as much as he's a military officer, he was serving General, uh, sorry, President Jame. That was the point that yeah. I precisely wanted to pick up. They were messengers. Yeah. They were not authorized signatories. Not so you did That's have correct. a duty, you did have a duty to verify and validate their claim that they were directed. It was not written, it was not just okay. verbal. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you could also say procedure, mm -hmm. official duties do not permit me to pay. Mm -hmm. Sanajaju was being sent. General Baji was sent. Mm -hmm. So you dealt with them. You didn't deal with the president. Mm -hmm. You can tell them, can I get something stronger than verbal directives? Mm -hmm. Even as a directive, it has to become it has to come in a letter signed. Yes. So why didn't you insist? In this case, it was the people who spoke to you that you dealt with. You didn't deal with the president. I did not. And you think if you told them mm -hmm. yeah, to bring it, it there was a risk. <coughs> Even with Sanajayu, you seem to have had a good rapport with General to the point of SMS. So you could say, can you help me with a written instruction from the big man? If he trusted the general with millions, he could also influence him to write a letter. Uh, uh, Commissioner Sen, I, I'm not quite sure whether I said it the last time I appeared. And this is my conversation with Sana. When again, use some language, foul language against Sana, and say, get up, go, go, go to Central Bank of the Gambia. So look, we were using a special chief of protocol because we interacted a lot. Alaji Sise, you know, Sana, Sana Jaju, where we even discussed this very matter in the office to say that, look, it would be helpful if we get, we get what the president was giving you initially at the earlier stages. So you wonder why did the president stop and he still would force you people to come. I personally, and William Jame, I remembered, saying that, look, this is not right. It's problematic, not just for the bank, even for you as a messenger coming through General Baji. Yes, I agree with you that it is not right. But where I want you to understand is that I did not have any influence to get uh, President Jame to do what everybody knows is right and is expected. We know that. Yeah. This time your influence was on the people who spoke to you. Yeah. We didn't expect you to influence him, mm -hmm. but we expected you to influence the people he sent to you so that they would do it one-on-one -on -one with him. And where that failed, you had the option to keep a track record, written track record, to say these are the efforts made by the governor to get things regularized. There is nothing written. It's what? all verbal. Mm. Remember, we're just inquiring. We're no. not assuming we had knowledge. No. So our concern is what we are reiterating. Yeah. What happened to, a, to an audit trail showing your concerns, your discussions with these guys, a request from you to them saying, a few occasions we have approved. The following one, the subsequent withdrawals, we would like you to do so and so from the central bank to the request. That's all we are asking. That doesn't exist. No, 
I agree. I said, I have, there is no documentary evidence to those he is sending, but I have interacted in my interaction with all of them. I said, that, look, you should make an effort to make sure that the president signs something. What and stopped you from writing? Writing to? Yes, to Sana, to General, the people who you are dealing with directly. Central bankers are supposed to write, they're supposed to document. This is operational procedure. Normal operational procedure. It wasn't abnormal to write. Yeah, Commissioner uh, said, yes, this is Central Bank, and that is what is expected of Central Bank. I can confirm to you that on all issues, with the exception of dealings with uh, uh, President Jame or Office of the President on this matter, uh, that's the only exception. And, and I'm sorry that uh, it was, we couldn't have gone beyond you know, uh, this. Do you agree that without anything on record, these transactions can actually be flagged as fraudulent because the authorized signatory never send them, they never deliver the money to them. They only stop with the intermediary and the top eight. From a banking perspective, unless you are claiming full knowledge of what happened, but from a banking perspective, they were unauthorized and could have been fraudulent transactions. Uh, I think the statement was made very clear the last time. In the absence of any documents, as we would all expect, to prove that this is actually coming from the account holder being President Jame, I said I cannot, I believe that monies are delivered, but I cannot uh, prove that that is uh, the case. Except in situations where, when there is a storage of a counterfeit in any of, if it is a foreign currency, you know, the president will send it through the protocol directly to the office of the governor and uh, we will replace and I remember the occasion where I actually paid you know, the hundred dollar so that proves that he does but that is I cannot provide you any documentary evidence that all monies are delivered to him but I have the belief that that's, that's the case all of it was done out of fear and precaution <laughs> I, I remember the chairman asking me what do I mean by abnormal that we were dealing with a, a leader a situation that was abnormal where uh, there was a violation of everything starting from the constitution down to policy you know policies at many institutions but relating to this whether it's at accounting general department or, or DNP in those days Ministry of Finance the Central Bank of, of the Gambia that was the reality. Thank you very much, Governor. Sorry, I just have one, one issue I want to clear. clear. Um, Mr. Kuli, there is just one concern that I have, if I may call it a concern. The President chose to be a signatory in the accounts which were in, in some of these accounts. He filled the signature for he the, the, the necessary forms and the signature card yeah. which had his signature. Yes. He, yes, and he submitted it. Now don't you think that he he did so because yes. he actually wanted to be a signatory to those accounts. Yes. And that signifies that he wanted to sign yes. onto the transactions. Yes. So and he did sign. In the international gateway account yeah. when he became in the vision 2016 he was signed yeah. don't you think it was because you in the bank mm -hmm. showed him that money could be withdrawn without a signature that's why he stopped signing if you had when they first started coming the first time they came you said well we only have one signature to this account the forms must be taken to him to sign you cannot withdraw without signing don't you think you would not have have had this problem that you have? Did, did you make any such attempt to say the first time they tried it, this, this cannot happen, this is it's not possible, I cannot give you money without the signature to the account? I said what I cannot provide is documentary evidence of the effort that we made with the messengers that he sent it, and the fact that we did not have access to the president you know, himself. You know, uh, yes, the statement that you made is correct. Initially, he started 
he would sign. At some point, he stopped. And that's the time we adopted. We did like you know, to lose messengers, what, to lose um, it. Well, I hear you, but Mr. Kuli, I just, that, that, I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. When he did not sign the first time, why could the bank not have said it's not possible to withdraw money from this bank without the signatory to the account? Whoever it is, it's just not possible. <laughs> Is there anything on the court to show that the bank attempted to say or did say that this is not possible, they just cannot do it? I think that's the question I answered where I said, you know, there is no documentary proof of our effort, our communication to say that, uh, you know, you, you cannot do that. There is none. But of course, we made a lot of uh, uh, effort. But we also went ahead and honored the request. Uh, that, that's all I said. Well, you may leave. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I, I think this is a convenient point to, to adjourn. Yes, Good afternoon. Uh, well, we'll rise. We'll be back at 2.30. Whoa. Music. Music.